Hey, this is Greg McIntyre with McIntyre Elder Law. We're coming to you live from Henderson County, uh, Flat Rock, North Carolina. Um, and we're here at WTZQ with uh, the fabulous DJ and uh, Les, Les Nesman. No? Uh, Wolf, Wolf, yeah. And, and, uh, and we've got uh, John Wingetter, okay? And we have from the Council on Aging in Buncombe County, we have Winder Mark. All right, we're back. So uh, we also have Hayden Soloway here today. Hey, Hayden. Good morning. And Taylor. So we've got a room full of people this morning. We're going to talk about a lot about Medicare and other senior services this morning. So without further ado, whenever you're ready to start the radio show, you can get it on. Down there, really? Maestro. Okay. And rolling. Hi, this is Greg McIntyre with the Elder Law Report. Um, very happy to be coming to you today. I have some special guests today Wendy Marsh, Director of the Buncombe County Council on Aging, as well as John Wingeter, who is the Director of Health Insurance Services. We're going to talk about the SHIP program, we're going to talk a lot about Medicare and other senior services that are provided by the Council on Aging in Buncombe County, which serves a wide area. They cut a wide swath with, the, with their senior services. And we want to we want to talk about that. We want to, to learn about what is Medicare? And you know, I think I know. I think I know. Do you think you know, Hayden? Well, I've been on it now for several years. There you go. So I, mean, I think I, I know. Experience. But really, you know what I've found is I don't know. Until I talk to a real expert about it, I don't know, and I have a ton to learn. In fact, John has a class that I can't wait to take. And we're here also, Taylor, I call her Lil Hayden, uh, is here today as well. Taylor Shelton with our office is here. Say hey, Taylor. Hi, guys. And, uh, you know, I, I, I can't wait to get into the show today. But before we do, you know, do you have a happy place today, Hayden? I had to scramble together some information today. I couldn't find anything that related to Medicare that sounded generally uplifting. Okay. So I just looked up in the happy news today. That's a good place to go when you just had it up here in politics sure. and death and destruction. Right. And I'll tell you, I pitched a couple of interesting things. An elderly pit bull has been fitted with contacts. And I, the thing about it is, they say he cannot quit standing and staring in the mirror. So there again, I mean, it's always you know, pet-centric things going on these days. Uh, an interesting story, a teacher named... So there are now dog dog contacts. Contacts. Who knew? <laughs> Who knew? Yeah. Who would have thought that? Okay. Uh, a teacher in uh, California, Kay Wistrand, uh, she was a language arts teacher who was very much loved by her students, found out that she had a tumor and her life was going to be shortened. And they loved her so much that they created a GoFundMe account because she had two things on her uh, bucket list. She wanted to see the beach and the redwoods in California. Right. And they raised, They were. their goal was $7,000. They raised $10,000. And with that $10,000, she was able to see the redwoods and go to the beach and retire immediately so she could enjoy a lot more of her time. You know, oh, that's so sweet. I, I thought so, too. You know what? I've lived in California. Yeah, when I was in the Navy. That's right, sure. San Diego. Yeah, I was stationed in San Diego, and that was a lot of fun. I mean, yeah. it's a beautiful city Coronado and a great Island. time. I worked on Coronado Island. Yeah. That's correct. Yeah, I worked on Coronado. And, man, I'm going to even want to tell you, I remember just, like, the gyms there at my base were, like, in hangar bays and uh, overlooking San Diego, looking back at the city, you know, across the bay. Hard life. It was awesome. It was awesome. It just, yeah. There were tough aspects of it, you know. Yeah. But that was a nice place to be stationed. Okay. And, uh, you know, I've, so I've seen the beach in, in California, but I haven't seen the redwoods. I always meant to get up to the redwood forest. Mm -hmm. It really puts your life in perspective. Have you been there? Yes. We drove through one of the trees. Yeah, you can drive through yeah. the tree. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, but it was just... Were you texting? I, I felt Were you texting and driving? And no, there, I don't think I even had a text message okay. in a while. Uh, but let me tell you one other quick story. You this drove another, through a tree? I drove through a tree. I mean, That's how they okay? redwoods it. Well, yeah, but it, there was a hole there. It was like a little tunnel to get there. Get out of I town. didn't have to make my own hole. The tree was that big. Right. I've yeah. seen it on television. I know well, we had a, a little Mazda uh, convertible, so right. we're not, we weren't driving a Mack truck. But well, it was a convertible after you went through the tree. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. Anyway, yeah, yeah. 
But anyway, I've got one more story to tell you. Okay, tell and, me a story. Uh, this relates to a fellow who's 100, 101 years old, and his name is Verdun, C E R D U N Hayes. He lives in England, and he decided that he was going to set a world record. So he took all of his family and uh, eight mem family members and two friends, and they all went tandem skydiving. And he broke the record for the oldest person in the world to compete complete 15,000 feet tandem jump. And uh, that was at 101 years old. So don't think you're too old to try new things. Take on new, ho new hobbies. Man, I want to skydive too. You want to do everything. You, you want to Life's too short. Mm -hmm. I, I do. Know, I, I love it. I I've do. done. I but I've done never jumped out of an airplane. No. That could be our team bonding. Are we going to do a team, team like a farm retreat? No, wait a minute. I have been repelling, and I've been whitewater canoeing, and I've done a lot of things, but I'm not jumping out of an airplane. I will push you or I'll wave you by, but I'm not jumping out of an airplane. You would do it? I would do it. All right, Taylor, we're doing it. All right, we're taking the office. I'll, I'll take the pictures. We'll bring the Hayden videos. can be our film crew. Yeah. I really do. I want to do that. I do too, but I have, I have some things to do. What can I do? We have an event coming up uh, in September 23rd in Asheville. Right. Repelling down a building and benefiting the council meeting of Buncombe County. Yes. And you raise, uh, individuals get to do that by raising $100,000 in donations that go to support our senior safe at home services. Oh, that's cool. And you repel down uh, North Market Street building and uh, it'll be a lot of fun. I've been up the top of the building. I can I'll do that. I can yeah. I'll do that. It's, yeah. it's run by Over the Edge and International Government. So more yeah. info coming. So think I, about I that. I have a fear of heights. It's a great team. Yeah. yeah. Well, I had a little fear when I was up there looking down, but I'm going to do it. So. Yeah, that'll so be fun. You're, you're, It'll be it's your team. adventure seekers. Yeah. Yeah. I've done it, yeah. and, so, it, and it's not yeah. like the, like jumping out of a plane. Uh, tethered, and you know, yeah, yeah. I, think yeah. It's, I hope it's not like that. <laughs> so we're getting ready to get right into our show today. So we make sure that we get plenty of content out there on Medicare and other senior services provided by the Council on Aging of Buncombe County. But just wanted to let you know if you have any questions about the show today, okay, or you have any questions about estate planning or elder law. I'm an elder law attorney. That's what I do. Give us a call. Um, our 828 number for this part of the state is 828-398-0181. We're centrally located in Shelby, North Carolina at 123 West Marion Street, but we have meeting spaces in Charlotte and Asheville, uh, Biltmore Park in Asheville. And you know what? Just like the doctor on Little House on the Prairie, I'm not a professional that hangs a shingle and expects you to climb the mountain to come to me. I will come to your house. I'll bring the mountain to you. And we do that routinely with clients. So, uh, you know, if you're in the 704 listening area, uh, from say Tryon to Charlotte, give us a call on our 704 number, 704-343-6933. And without further ado, I'm going to jump into the show. So, um, you know what? Miss Marsh, Wendy Marsh, you're the director of the Council on Aging mm -hmm. in Buncombe County. That's a pretty big deal. Ah, well, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a wonderful position. I've been there about sure. 16 years. I'm set to retire October 1st, and I consider every day a real privilege to be able to work on behalf of older adults and the people who take care of them. So thank no you doubt. for thinking and it's it, a big deal. It I, is a big deal, and, and it's, a, it's a real community service to, to the, your county and beyond, I know. Um, so, so what kind of services are offered by uh, the Council on Aging and Market County? Well, I'll try to be really concise with this. I know we have a lot you want to get through. So we have sure. three, we work with, uh, well, really more than 8,000 folks individually. Uh, at an, every year. And we have three major program areas we do. One is our senior dining and wellness, which is a really active uh, four locations around Buncombe County where mm -hmm. people have a meal done by the Moose Cafe. If you've heard of the Moose Cafe? The Moose Cafe. The Moose ah, Cafe. The Moose all Cafe. Cafe. all fresh, fresh vegetables yeah. and stuff. It's a great. I remember people love the it. green beans. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Yeah, veggies. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, there's, few, there's a, a lot of good stuff mm -hmm. there. They're really good. And we also work closely with the YWCA and the YMCA sure. for exercise classes. We have volunteers who do yoga. So we have uh, around 450, 460 people that attend that. Which is extremely year. important because the healthier you can stay, Absolutely. the longer you can stay healthy. How about that? That's right. And good mobile mm -hmm. and flexible. Uh, that really, there's really a correlation to longevity. Yeah, we actually had a woman in her mid-80s who attends the Weaverville site, and she had a health event and was out for a few weeks, and then started coming back and went to see her doctor for a follow-up checkup, and he said, what are you doing? Right. You're getting better so much faster than anybody your age normally does. And she said, well, I go to this dining site, and I do exercise, and I volunteer, and, and he said, don't stop. And you feel That's good. That's three really important things. 
does. It turns your body into a little pharmacy. Yeah, it just, it's great. You know, it's great, great for, for healing. Plus the social aspects. Hayden social talks about isolation. that all the time. Yeah, that is one of the major, it doesn't matter whether mm -hmm. you have a lot of money or a little bit of money. Right. You tend not to eat well if you live alone and you don't get out. And the social right. interaction, really, it, you know, people say, well, it's more than a meal. But it is that opportunity to get out and uh, see people. And of course, we do that with our partners who provide the space and um, mountain mobility and volunteers who provide transportation for people who can't drive themselves. So it's a it's wonderful service. We really enjoy providing that. It's so. great. Yeah. And then we have a program which is an umbrella name for several direct services called Senior Safe at Home. And under there we do home modifications, minor home modifications. Sure. And in certain instances. Like if I need a ramp. We can do one and two step ramps. Okay. Uh, with our program then if we need bigger ones we have another uh, another program we work with where mm -hmm. the funds are limited and they do income guidelines with, with sure. ours there aren't. Uh, that also has homebound food delivery for people who live alone and are isolated and it's once a month once a month a volunteer delivered food box. There's also caller ride volunteer transportation which pe for people who can't use public transportation or drive safely we get them to needed appointments and when we have volunteers able to do so we also take them for social engagement opportunities, grocery shopping as well. Sure. So also within that is we house our Medicare outreach and education program under there as well. So it's a variety of direct services that we, you know, help people stay at home and, and age with choice is how we put it. And then the other bigger program we have um, is called resource coordination, and that's right. sort of an odd name, but it's social workers who do home visits and needs assessments, and through those needs ass assessments, help people know what services are available for them and how to access those. They may be our direct services or they may be um, you know, other community resources. We work very closely with a number of partners uh, throughout Buncombe County. And so it's that home visit, the needs assessment, and the follow-up. We might stay with people for 90 days if they need us or longer if they're really at risk. Um, so those are yeah, those are some of the services we do. If you go to www.coabc.org, there's a better explanation of, of, of our resources that we can offer people. So. www.coabc.org nice. is how people okay. can mm -hmm. find out more about what you do. What if they've heard anything do. on that menu of services that you offer that, that piques their interest from exercise to helping fix up the home, mm -hmm. to being qualified for Medicare, if they have questions about supplements and insurance, you know, they can really go to that website and find out more, and it lists all the contact information there, as well as the address um, of where you're located. And, and you know, just if somebody wants to give you a call, what's a, what's a good phone number they can reach you? Oh, that's a good question, 828-277-8288. Okay. okay, and, um, Wendy, you, you brought somebody with you today. I did, a big okay. somebody. He does more more outreach than anybody else at the office. So. Okay, excellent. John Wingetter, Wingerter. That's correct. Wingerter, not Wingetter. That's correct. Wingerter. Okay. There's right. various Good forms difference. of it out there. There you go. So, so John Wingerter, Director of Health Insurance Services. I just want to make sure I get it right. And uh, and, and is going to talk all about Medicare today. So why? I mean. Hey, what I know about Medicare, every senior over 65 gets it. Isn't that right, Hayden? That's right. You've been on it for five years, right? Um, nearing. Nearing five nearing. years? But, you know, there's a lot more to it than that. Well, Medicare is a wonderful program, but there right. are a lot of moving parts, and it can be complicated. Right. And I think, uh, Greg, the first thing that people have to understand is that this is insurance. It's not national health care. It's insurance. So there are rules and regulations that you have to follow certain times that you can sign up for the coverage, uh, and it's not completely free. There are uh, costs involved uh, for certain parts of the, uh, of the medical uh, coverage. There's a cost involved for supplements or uh, Medicare Advantage plans or prescription drug plans. And uh, what we find is that people are just absolutely overwhelmed uh, when they uh, approach the age of 65 for a couple of reasons. Number one is they get a blizzard of information in the mail. All sorts of marketing materials from various uh, insurance companies, and it's very, very confusing. Secondly, they are bombarded by the greatest source of misinformation out there, and you know what that is? Attorneys. 
friends, family, <laughs> well-intentioned individuals, okay. maybe attorneys, but uh, <laughs> we found the attorneys are, are can be extremely helpful, quite right, frankly. Right. I was here. But uh, I'm an attorney, so I can give attorneys a hard time. You can, you can joke about <laughs> that. But we have uh, folks who uh, unfortunately make very bad decisions because somebody told them, when you turn 65, you have to do this, you have to buy this type of supplement, you have to do uh, all, you know what I all call these those things, kind of people? And, and they street are lawyers. street lawyers. I hear about that. You know, I've heard you can do this to save your ass if you listen to that. You've been listening to a street lawyer, right? Or, or a street insurance, street Medicare person, right? Everybody knows, right? Everybody thinks thinks they know. Right, right. And what we do, uh, we are uh, contracted by the North Carolina Department of Insurance to manage the SHIP program, mm -hmm. S-H-I-I-P, Seniors Health Insurance Information Program. But I don't want to get on the SHIP, John. I just want Medicare. Well, I'll tell you, be very <laughs> careful be if, you Google, if you Google SHIP, if you only put in one eye, you may wind up on a cruise. Uh, but <laughs> if you do two it. eyes, you're going to wind up at the North Carolina Department of Insurance. It's actually the Medicare North Carolina Department of Insurance acronym, if you will, S-H-I-I-P, correct? That's correct. The and, the, and the unique yeah. feature about this uh, program is that the information that we provide, it's free. We don't charge for the service. It's unbiased. We, we're not selling anything. We don't recommend any insurance companies or types of plans. We will provide the information and the uh, consumer, the client, uh, or the beneficiary makes the decision, and it's confidential. When people come to our office for counseling, everything they share with us is held in the strictest of confidence. Excellent, excellent. So a much needed, great service out there. And you know what? You, I, I said that you guys cut a wide swath. I know that uh, you're doing more than just Buncombe County. Uh, that's correct. We have uh, our SHIP program. We provide Medicare counselors in both Buncombe and uh, Henderson County, right. but right now we have a special grant to help folks who are having a difficult time paying for their prescription drugs. Right. If you're on Medicare uh, and uh, have a prescription drug plan that you can't afford, or you can't afford the co-pays when you go to the doctor's and office. Medications can be so expensive. Extremely expensive. Even though you have prescription drug coverage, the co-pays can be extremely expensive, but there is assistance out there. It's called extra help. And we have a big campaign going right now in Madison, Buncombe, Henderson, and Transylvania counties. You can call the Council on Aging. Wendy gave you the phone number at 828-277-8288 and say that you want to get more information on signing up for this uh, uh, extra help with this assistance. That's excellent. That's excellent because, I mean, you mentioned Medicare Advantage, prescription drug pro program plans. Medicare Part D. I mean, there are. When you start hearing about more and more plans, it gets confusing. It gets very confusing. And you know what we offer, though, is to help you unravel this uh, this process. To make it that, simple. Make it simple is we offer Medicare classes. It's called Medicare Choices Made Easy. Right. The classes are free. They're open to the public. And you can go to our Council on Aging website, www.co abc.org and you can see a list of all the classes we ask that you sign up so we know how many packets of information to bring mm -hmm. but if you sign up and attend one of those classes I absolutely guarantee that you will uh, have a much better understanding and be much more comfortable with the Medicare program right I I'm gonna sign up and take that class I always do continuing education in this area of law that I practice which is elder law and estate planning and I think I know about Medicare, but yeah, I, I guarantee you I'm going to learn a ton in that class. I handle a lot of the transition between Medicare and Medicaid when someone uh, is in, say, rehabilitation and going in a nursing home or, or assisted living care or their money is running out or the family's looking at saving, saving the farm, saving the house that they paid for for 30 years, you know, that the husband and wife have worked for the majority of their working life to pay for it and they want to pass it down to the kids but you know they're scared to sacrifice it uh, because of the uh, you know they've run out of money to pay for the health care so, you know. or, or Hayden we talk about the crying husband or the crying mm -hmm. wife all the time who's the crying wife Hayden? Uh, you meet her. Huh? She's, 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 uh, What's your name? Oh, oh I'm sorry my name's Florence. 
Florence? Yes. Sir. You're not crying, Florence. No. Okay, are you I'm crying? I'm trying not to. Oh, you're crying now? Yes. Okay, okay, why are you crying? My husband's in a care facility. He is, is likely going to be there for the rest of his life. Right. And we have spent money, and I'm afraid it's all going to be gone. Right, and you guys both work for your entire retirement. Oh, it, yes, yes. And now, because of the health care costs, you're afraid of losing basically everything, yes. right? Or, or, or having very little to live on going forward, yes. correct? I see that situation on a regular basis. That's generally where I catch people in transition and they want to say, look, how can I save the land? How can I save the house? How can I save some money? Because I've got a good 20, 30 healthy years to live and you know, I'm in a tough spot, right? I'm in a bad situation and, uh, and we get in and help. That's our benefit department and we'll go a veterans aid and attendance route or we'll go a Medicaid planning route or maybe another route. Man, if somebody, if people would put in place long-term care insurance ahead of time also, then a lot of these problems would be solved. Uh, but that's rare. I call that the unicorn because I don't see it very often. Um, but, uh, and I don't know that much about insurance and I don't sell insurance. So, so it's very nice to have an expert like John here who is uh, a, a great wealth of knowledge on Medicare. And that's how, why I'm gonna take his class you know, and why, why I'm going to, uh, to learn more about Medicare. So, so Medicare Advantage, that's the one we hear about all the time. That's, is that just a, your base level Medicare uh, coverage for emergencies, maybe a supplement, uh, copay? I'm sorry, maybe a copay program if I'm in rehab, something like that. What is Medicare Advantage? Well, there are two types of uh, uh, two ways that you can receive your Medicare benefits. One okay. is through traditional or original Medicare, where you have original Medicare parts A and B. Uh, which everybody signs up for, and then you can buy a Medicare supplement and a Medicare prescription drug plan. If you have those uh, parts of Medicare, you are pretty well protected against any significant medical expenses. But Medicare also contracts with private insurance companies to provide the same benefits. Right. And what you would do is like you Humana. Would, like Humana or Blue Cross or right. United or a number of other Medicare Advantage plans, mm -hmm. And they have to provide the same benefits as traditional Medicare, but they just do it in a little bit different ways with fixed co-pays and you don't have to buy a supplement. And a lot of folks like that because they can save some money that way. They may not be able to afford per month. Per month, correct. And so uh, we're finding a lot, of, a lot of people are very interested in that. Nationally, about a third of all Medicare beneficiaries now are on Medicare Advantage plans. Right. And it's similar here in uh, North Carolina. Right. That's what I have. I see that a lot. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yes. And uh, it, it's it, it's uh, it's sometimes difficult to explain the difference between the plans, but they do have the same benefits. Sure. And you can and you can uh, if I need to go to the doctor, that would take care of my doctor's visit. If I had to go to the emergency room or had an emergency healthcare situation, that would take care of that emergency healthcare trip to the doc the hospital. However, if I have to go to rehabilitation, that plan will pay for say 20 days, correct? Well, that uh, the uh, advantage plans, uh, the advantage plans, you'd have to talk to each advantage plan, but, to but they will the provide specific. for uh, uh, inpatient rehab right. and uh, therapies and, and things like that. The same benefits that original Medicare, sure. they have to offer uh, also. Somebody and, explained to me one time, my father is, been having to go through various episodes of, of rehab. He has his own little unique form of dementia that the doctors have never seen before. So he'll have to go into the hospital for six days, then he goes into rehab for two weeks. And someone mentioned to me, and here we, I may be talking to a street lawyer, I don't remember who told me this, but as long as they expect you to recover, they're going to cover, Medicare is going to cover. Is that right? Well, uh, there have been some new rulings. Uh, uh, lately, uh, and uh, one of them is Sibelius versus, uh, I think it's Jimmo, uh, where you don't necessarily have to show that you are improving, you just have to show that you're, uh, you're not deteriorating uh, any further, and you could continue to receive that type of uh, therapy. Right, and generally after, say after, the reason you might want a Medicare supplement, okay, another insurance supplement is because after the, say 20 days, if that's the, what your plan covers, pays in full for rehabilitation for 20 days. After that, there will be a copay. It will cover part, your, your Medicare plan may cover part of 
the payment for the next, say, 80 days. Because generally you see a block of 100 days, unless there's a hot intervening hospital stay, okay? And then you can push the reset button on that, all right? However, um, if, and there's an admittance to the hospital, there's some particular rules there, okay? But when you, when you pass your 20 days and you go to that copay, if you have a private insurance supplement also, then that can cover the copay amount. So essentially you can be there for the 100 without coming out of pocket money, okay? That's correct. In yeah. the uh, copay, the Medicare pays the first 20 days at 100% for mm -hmm. uh, skilled nursing. Correct. After that, it's $164.50 per day. That's in uh, 2017. And every year, uh, that copay uh, tends to go up. Right. But, you know, I see people who sacrifice. I know you say people love the, just the Advantage plan because they save a few dollars a month. But I see families a lot of times on the back end who are not are not happy with the bill they're going to have to pay for the 80 day stay um, that was not fully covered because they didn't get a get a supplement right because they have to pay that copay and that mounts up pretty quickly. That that's correct. If they don't have a supplement uh, that covers that in uh, that skilled nursing, they could have a significant uh, bill bill extremely they have high to bill. pay. Right, right. That, that's correct. So so I think. In my, from what I see, but I see, a, I see, a, I see people who are in that situation, right, all the time. Um, they save a few dollars per month, but they really get hurt on the back end because they didn't pay for a supplement that wouldn't have cost them that much every month. A private insurance supplement. I'm, you know, I, I, I sound like um, plugging private insurance supplements, and I'm not. I promise, that. I'm not an insurance agent. And I don't sell it. But uh, I just see people who have big bills on the back end because they, they and I've talked to insurance people before that, uh, that are frustrated by that. I don't know if you've had an experience with well, that. Well, one of the things that we do in our Medicare classes sure. is that we talk about the various types of uh, M Medicare supplements, right? Uh, a through N, and it, it can be very confusing, sure. but we show f uh, people what each one covers and uh, things to take into consideration when they're purchasing a supplement. Right. Uh, and things, for example, the standardization. A lot of folks think that uh, if they pay more for a certain type of supplement, they're getting more coverage. Well, all these supplements are standardized by, by law so that every insurance company that sells a plan A, every insurance company's plan A is the same. The rates are all over the place. Right. And uh, a lot of folks say, well, if I'm paying more for my plan A than you are, it must be better. Not true. The other thing I'd like to point People out. People think they get what they pay for. Exactly. But really, it's standardized. It's standardized. And you only know that by taking your class, class and getting education. Right? Exactly. The other thing I'd like to also uh, uh, point out, too, is unfortunately, a lot of folks, when they turn 65, are in pretty good health. We have a lot of folks who really take care of themselves. And they tend to think that they are never going to get sick. And now they're 70, 72, 75, and suddenly, no matter how hard they tried to take care of themselves, disaster strikes, and suddenly they have huge medical bills and that run into the hundreds of thousands of dollars. And unfortunately, they never signed up for uh, like Part B of Medicare, or they never signed up for a prescription drug plan or a supplement. And then they get into a bad situation where they've had to pay uh, tens of thousands uh, of dollars out of pocket. Well, I appreciate the knowledge that you've shared here today on the radio with us, John, okay? I greatly appreciate that. I wish we could do another show on this where we really dug down into the details and, and got a little further into it. In fact, I'll put it out there. I'd love to do that coming up over the next couple of months if you want to uh, talk about it. Yeah, yeah, we can talk about it further. Um, and I'm going to sign up to take your class. I thank you very much, Miss Marsh, for oh, being here. Oh, it's great. Thank you. Uh, Wendy, uh, for being here uh, as the director. I know your schedule's busy, but I appreciate you taking the time out to come and inform us about the many things, the services you offer seniors in the area, okay? Thank you very and, much. And thank, thanks, uh, team, Hayden and, and uh, Taylor, for being on the show as well um, and hosting us. I'll tell you, uh, what do we have coming up uh, next week, Hayden? 
Well, though, I look ahead to uh, June the 15th, uh, we're going to have a booth at Cleveland County Chamber Business Expo. And on uh, June the 17th, we're going to be at the Kingston Senior Community in Hickory. Uh, and we're going to be uh, doing, uh, visiting with the people there who are going to have their antiques and near antiques. We're doing an appraised. antiques road show. Yeah, well, I don't think we're... <laughs> Exactly that. I think it is kind of like that. Well, it's it's similar to the very. It's famous like and an wonderful antiques show. Road show. Yeah, yeah, not to. There yeah. will be people there who can uh, give a basic appraisal, appraisal, and if there, uh, if if it turns out to be that something fun. maybe of value, then you can call. Thank you for lining that up, Amy. And one fun. other, uh, June twenty second at eleven o'clock a.m. at the Gaston County Senior Center, you're doing a uh, seminar. It will oh, be great. basically on estate planning. You'll deal a lot with what we talked about today about how to preserve your assets and. and instead of incurring those horrible medical bills. So uh, there's a lot to learn. I promise you, if you sure. attend, you will leave there with information that you are glad you knew. And if you need any more information about the things we talked about on the show today, you can call us again in the 828 area code, 828-398-0181. If you're listening on WCSL or 704-343, I'm sorry, if you're listening on WTZQ, smack me on the hand for that. Or if you're listening on WCSL, 704-343-69. Three, three. This has been Greg McIntyre with the Elder Law Report, and we are centrally located in Shelby, North Carolina at 123 West Marion Street, but have meeting spaces by appointment only. We see clients in Asheville and Charlotte, or we'll go in home. So give us a call if you have any questions, and thank you so much for listening, and have a great day out there. Cool. Well, that moved great. right along. Thank you so much. Well, it goes by. Don't get it. It, it, it always flows. Thanks yeah. for the three minute warning. Yeah, totally. I tried to wrap it up. I don't know if you can. It was pretty close. I yeah, got close. I'll tighten it up. All right, tighten it. it up for me a little Absolutely. bit. Thank you so much. <laughs> What's that? Just a minute. For a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Well, they can take out they did that to me on WLOS. I swear oh. to you, it was. I watched it back. It was like it was like talking to me. It was much more faster. And I talk fast as it is. And I'm like, they had not done that. Well, th oh, thank you, thank you thank for you being so our guest yeah, today, I it. John. I'm serious. If, if you want to come back and you want to delve deeper back into the details, yeah. I really, really deal with yeah. with clients who, I mean, they get hurt on the back end because they don't know. Yeah. And that, yeah. Here's what I suggest. Sure. Take the class. Yeah, you can go on that. Okay. That provides a structure. It's, yes. It's and a, then you tell me oh, yeah. if how what, you know with, with thirty minutes. Obviously, That's I take two show. hours yeah. and go yeah. through all the parts of it. And Medicare. we could cut out some of the fluff. Like, I mean, it's yeah. fun. Hayden does a great uh, happy place, you know, and talks about some fun yeah. things. But, but you know, we could get right into it and just have a really informative show. Yeah. Happy Andrew. Yes, sir. Thanks for watching. Yeah, I didn't.